welcome back to my channel welcome to a new video i am super excited to have you guys here today because today we're doing a full face of black owned beauty brands i recently placed a bunch of orders and everything finally came in and i'm super excited to show you guys how to get this look using all of these brands you guys may be familiar with some of them because some of them are kind of big and then there's also some new ones that you guys are going to learn about today because they are smaller and just starting out so i'm really excited to show you guys how to get this whole look so i actually got everything in about two weeks ago and to be honest i have been lacking motivation to film it's been a struggle because I haven't felt the happiest. I haven't been the most cheerful. I feel selfish to just pretend like everything's okay when things are not. The world is currently turned upside down right now and things really have to change, guys. They have to change. If you guys have been following me on Instagram and Twitter, you will know that I've been extremely active with the Black Lives Matter movement. I have been posting daily as much information as I possibly can. I have so much petition links, so much donation links, uh, just so much information that you guys can um, Take for yourself as well to share with friends and family uh, especially when it comes to the educational part that's something that i was posting but also watching and reading it myself and there's a lot of information documentaries books and movies you guys probably had no idea ever happened because to be honest for the longest time i thought i knew it all i thought i knew a lot until i started really educating myself more than ever every time an innocent black person has been murdered by police brutality a racist person i can't tell you guys how much my heart shatters because i can't imagine hating someone for their skin color. I absolutely cannot even envision that. And it breaks my heart. And I remember the first time I ever heard about Black Lives Matter movement was when Trayvon Martin passed away. That was the initial shock for me that I was like, I cannot believe this story. I watched the case and was extremely disappointed with the outcome of it. And this is the thing, it's been happening over and over and over again. And things have to change, guys. Things have to stop. And the way things will change is by us continuing to use our voice, standing together with our black brothers and sisters, supporting them throughout the whole way. And most importantly, voting. I can't express to you guys how important it is to vote um, on my highlights on my Instagram I have also a lot of information about voting and to understand it a little better understand what you're voting for so I encourage you guys to go to my Instagram please check out all the links over there I did mention to you guys in my last uh, two videos that I was gonna be donating all the AdSense to organizations and I felt a little unfair because I only uploaded two videos for the month of June so I'm actually gonna be doing it a month from when I uploaded that video till I think it's like the middle of July, somewhere around there. It's been a hard month for everyone. And if you're not feeling like yourself, just know that you are not alone, but we have to stick together, stay together, fight for each other, fight for justice, fight for equality, and things will happen. Um, I think this is a generation that is really gonna make change and make things happen. So um, again, continue using your voice, guys. I'll continue using my voice, my platform as much as I can. Um, and I hope that we can stay in this fight together. We have each other's backs. Oh, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> Uh, that's it for today's intro. I hope everything made sense. There's a bunch of links down below that I encourage you guys to check out if you guys get a chance. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get into today's video. We're gonna get started with the first product and I'm super excited to introduce to you guys this eyebrow pencil from Uma Beauty. This is their baby hair pencil. What I'm gonna do is start off with the back end of the brow pencil and start by brushing out my brow hairs. Kind of get them into place. I'm actually gonna start this right in the middle of the brow. And then from there, I'm gonna start sketching the pencil back into my brow hair. And then I'm gonna now use a spoolie, kind of just buff the product into the brow hair. So this is where my brow gets a little weird. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't really have a shape. Like I want my brow to obviously shape down, but then my brow wants to go straight. So I'm gonna go ahead and follow kind of where the hair is going. Create my own shape towards the front is where I go a little bit more lighter. Instead of dragging and trying to box it, I try to sketch up and then the rest of it, I try to go back. But that is pretty much all I really do. Like. I'm telling you guys, my brows are in a weird, weird place right now. So we're just kind of letting them be. I'm actually going to be grabbing a little bit of concealer and just doing a light cleanup. Now I'm going to grab this big old brush and just kind of blend it all together. And that is pretty much it for my eyebrows. So for my eyes, I'm gonna be using these two palettes right here. This one is the Warrior II palette by Juvia's Place. And the next one is the Black Magic palette from Uma Beauty. I'm sure you guys are both familiar with these brands. So I'm gonna grab the shade down here. So I'm pretty much using this to set, but also for my lid color. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit more, tap it on. 
Okay, and that's it for now. We'll be back to this one in a bit, but I'm not gonna move in with the Uma Black Magic palette. Up here, it's got a bunch of metallic shades, and then the bottom ones are all matte, but I'm gonna be tapping into these two shades down here, and then this one for the inner corner crease. So the first shade is called Romantic. It's gonna go right in the corner and just wiggle it in. So the majority of the shadow is gonna be towards the outer corner of the eye. It's kind of like a smoked wing liner look. So I'm gonna focus most of the product right here. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of that light shade. I'm gonna go ahead and set the lid. And then now a little bit more of Romantic. Hit and tap onto the lid. That's it. So now I'm gonna be going in with the shade Love, picking up a little bit of that. And I'm gonna go ahead and start to tap the color onto the crease while also lightly extending it out. Now I'm gonna grab a flat brush and then tap right over it. But again, instead of kind of blending into the crease, I'm blending up and tapping up. So a fun fact that I actually didn't know about Uma Beauty is that Uma actually means beautiful in Iblu. I could be saying that completely wrong, but it's actually a language spoken in southeastern Nigeria where the owner is from, which I thought was really beautiful and something that I had no idea. I always love reading about brands and how kind of they got started and their inspiration. And it's kind of cool. The inspiration behind a lot of Uma's products are actually from Nigeria, where she's from. A lot of it comes from the culture, from the art, the design out there. And I think that's really pretty. And it's actually the same thing with Ajuvia's Place. She's also from Nigeria as well. And and their inspiration just comes from everything out there, colors, art, food, festivals, all of that, which I thought was beautiful to know. I'm gonna go ahead and leave some links down below in articles that I found that you guys can definitely read up about. So I'm gonna go ahead now and tap into this color called Lady of Gold, which is a color in the inner corner of my eye. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it kind of has flecks of pink and pearl. And I'm actually going to pop this right into the center, into the, I'm sorry, into the inner corner of my eye. I'm gonna go in now with another Uma product, and this is their Cleopatra ink liner in the shade Black. I had a chance to play with this in the last couple of days just to get familiar with how it works, how it goes on, the wear time of it, and this is definitely one that you wanna add to your cart. It has a brush tip on here, which is really nice. I'm somebody that likes it pretty thick, but towards the end, I want it to look almost like hair thin. So I was really impressed with how this applied on. Most importantly, the formula, especially because sometimes I have to add more or layer it after the lashes, and felt that this was super easy to do that with. So now that we have the liner on, I'm gonna tap back in with a smaller defining brush. I'm gonna pick up the shade Love as well as the black shadow from the Warrior 2 palette. I'm gonna mix them both and I'm actually gonna put a little bit of setting spray on there, pinch it together, and I'm now gonna go right over the liner and create a even more smokier effect. And I'm just gonna grab a fluffier brush now and tap up a little bit more. Now what I'm gonna do is grab a wipe and clean up underneath of my eyes. So this is important to really get this like end to really pop. I'm gonna use the tip of the makeup wipe to go as close as I can to the liner without removing the liner. So we're just picking up the excess uh, fallout that you guys saw and that happens because we're packing on that shadow. I'm sure there's other ways you can do it but I feel like for me it really works to really get in there like that. Next, I'm gonna be going in with this mascara from Beauty Bakery. This is the Eyelash Icing. It is a smudge-proof, lengthening, and volumizing mascara. Super cute packaging. If you guys don't know about Beauty Bakery, their whole line is focused around a bakery. Like, everything's gonna be super cute. Like, if you're baking, this does remind me of the little icing that you use for the cakes. So I'm gonna go ahead and top off my lashes with this. Start this right at the root and work my way up. Next for my eyelashes, I'm gonna be going in with these from Sugar Lux Beauty. Found this brand on Twitter. I saw a thread from Patrick Star asking if anybody knew of lashes that were black owned and this brand was somewhere in there. I decided to check them out and I loved their eyelashes. They had really pretty eyelashes. I actually ended up buying two of them. Super nice, cute packaging. I'm gonna go ahead and just put some glue in there and let them dry. I actually ordered a bunch of lashes because I wanted to try different ones out and really, really liked hers. So definitely check them out. Definitely give them a follow if you guys can on Instagram because they are like a super small brand just starting and your guys' support would mean everything. All right, here we go. Yes, look at that lash. It makes such a difference and I feel like it makes the smokiness pop out a little more too. I'm actually gonna go in with the Fenty What It Do Setting Mist and spray this on my skin just to kind of freshen me up. 
Next, I'm gonna be going in with this primer from Pat McGrath. This is the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Primer. I have actually never played with this and I'm very excited about it because I've heard great things. Everyone talks so highly about it. So I'm really excited to try it on today. So I went ahead and did a pump onto my finger. And from there, I'm gonna go ahead and work it into the skin. If you guys are big beauty lovers, I'm sure you guys already know about Pat McGrath prior to her starting her brand, her background and where she came from. I actually heard about Pat McGrath when I worked at MAC. She was and is still a living legend to all of us. She was actually one of my biggest inspirations because when I worked at MAC, there was no Instagram. YouTube was around, but it wasn't where it is now. So I didn't really have anybody to look up to, but she always inspired me from the most minimal, simplest looks to the most dramatic graphic liner look you could possibly imagine. I just have always looked up to her. So everything that she launches, I'm always super excited about. I realized that I added my liquid highlight on my skin before even telling you guys what I was doing because uh, my camera was dying, forgot to press play, and then I realized, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do this again. I'm gonna be adding in these liquid highlight drops from Iman Cosmetics. I found this at Target, super affordable liquid highlights. I got this in the shade Star because it has a little bit more of like that rose gold, kind of silvery finish, which is kind of what I like. And there was two other colors that I saw that were more on the bronze side. You can wear this alone. You can wear this with foundation, you can wear this with concealer, you can mix it in. I kinda like to do a little bit of everything. So for foundations, I was really crushed in between these two. I've used the Juvia's Place Eye Magic Foundation many times and I love it. It is a velvety matte, super full coverage foundation. A little goes a long way, it is so bomb. And then I also have the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish, which is one that I've had for a little bit, but I haven't even used it yet. I don't know why, but I think today's the day that I'm gonna have to put this one on my face. In addition to that, I did use the primer, so it kind of makes sense to kind of pair them together. Um, for this one right here, we're gonna be using the shade Medium 15, and I'm gonna actually apply this on with my Kabuki brush. Another reason I wanted to try this foundation too is because a sheer foundation isn't typically what I go for. I usually like a real full coverage one, so I kind of wanted to switch it up and see how this would look, but this is said to be a medium to full coverage foundation, but you can definitely build it up. Great for all skin types, and it leaves you a really natural finish, which is kind of what I like. Even with full coverage foundations, I prefer them to be a little bit more on the wet side, so it's definitely something that I feel like the finish I'll like. Coverage, shockingly, looks really, really good. I also picked up two of her concealers as well, which I think I'm gonna use this. One is L3 and one is M18. There is 36 shades available in this formula, but a lot of them were sold out. To be honest with you guys, a lot of things from every brand I ordered were sold out, which actually made me very happy because that just goes to show that everyone is really supporting. Like I said, mixing these two together, I was able to make my own colors. I'm gonna start this right underneath my eye and then along my nose. Oh my God, this looks so good. <gasps> I love it. It looks so, so good. Yay! So next I'm gonna go into some bronzing. I'm gonna be doing this before I go into any kind of setting because I just really wanna chisel my face. So I wanna go ahead and do that first. And I'm gonna be using today one of my favorite bronzers that you guys have heard me talk about many times. It is the best ever, and that is the Fenty Private Island. And I'm sure you guys already know that Rihanna is one of the owners of Fenty. The other owner is Kendo, uh, but I still consider it black owned because it's Rihanna's brand. She started it. So we're gonna go ahead and use this one today. If you guys have never tried out these bronzers, highly recommend checking them out. Really, really good. Oh. I'm also gonna use the bronzer and this brush to do some nose contouring. I need to soften that up a little bit, but this is just kind of like the print, the blueprint. From there, I just fix it up. Now we're gonna move into a setting powder, and I have a new one that I'm gonna be trying out today from Juvia's Place, and this one is in the shade White Sands. First, I'm trying this out, and I'm actually really excited because I've been using the same one for years, and it's always fun to try something different, so. Just lightly finish up my under eyes as well. Uh, taking it back in with the Uma Beauty Black Magic Palette. We're gonna tap into the shade Romantic and Love. For my waterline, I'm gonna be going in with this one from Fenty. I don't even know if you guys know that they have eyeliners. I'm sure they have other colors, but the only one I have is black. I'm gonna go ahead and take this towards like the top of my eye. I'm gonna do just a light swipe because I don't want it to be too dark, but I just need like a little bit of color down there. I'm gonna go now and dust off the setting powder 
and just for reference, the setting powder was sitting on me for maybe about like three minutes or so. So for my blush, we're gonna be using this one from Juvia's Place. It is the Sahara Blush Volume 2. Look at these beautiful shades. So we're gonna be tapping into the shade Lena. There we go for the blush. And then, lastly guys, I'm gonna go back with another Fenty product. This one is the Kilowatt Lightning Dust Fire Crystal Highlight Duo. Grab a smaller brush and add a little bit to the tip of the nose as well as the bridge. All right, lastly, we're gonna be going into my lip color and you guys, for once, I am not doing a nude lip. With this look and like the way I was going, I really, really wanted to do something that was a little deeper, that stand out a little more. And with the pink shirt, like I wanted like that contrast. So I think this is the perfect choice. So the first one is this lip liner from The Lip Bar, which I actually just discovered them. I saw a post about them being available at Target, so I decided to check them out. So this one today is a shade Straight Lip it's a smudge proof lip pencil so we're gonna be using that today for the lip liner and then my lip color is from the brand colored rain when I went to go pick this up at Target I noticed that they had colored rain there as well so perfect combination right here and I'm excited to show you guys how it goes on And also before I go with the lip color, I just want to mention that this is going to be more of a berry brown color. If you guys look at the lid, you can kind of see that it has a little bit more of like that berry hue in there, but it's not necessarily like a full berry, but it's not like a full brown. So uh, just keep that in mind, but that's kind of good to know because then you can actually mix this with any of like your brown lip colors as well. And here we go. Oh my God. <gasps> I love it. Wow, you guys, I don't even recognize myself with the dark lip. This looks so, so good. Oh my God, I am so happy with how excited I am. As I mentioned to you guys at the beginning of the video, be sure to support these brands if you can. If you can't buy, go ahead and follow them. And if you guys end up buying something and loving it, review it on websites so that these reviews can stay on these sites and potential customers can read them and uh, become a new customer to them. So once again, thank you for watching today's video. I really appreciate you guys staying here till the very end. It means a lot to me. And again, it's going to a good cause. So with that being said, you guys have a great rest of your week. I love you all so much. Stay safe and I will see you guys later.